Hits 105.5. Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday morning. The Adoptable Pet of the Week with Shelby County Dog Warden is proudly sponsored by Tri-County Veterinary Service. And on the phone with me right now, I have Shelby County Dog Warden Chastity Crowder. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Miss Tracy. I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing awesome. So who do we have? Woohoo! So who do we have for this week? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I don't know where that came from. Anyways, we have a Wiggly Bottoms Wednesday with Mr. Mario. Uh, We have him as a tree walker coon hound. So he is a hound mix. Uh, He is a very handsome boy. He is neutered, up to date on vaccines, microchipped. Heartworm negative, all the good things. Thank you, Scarf and Tri County Veterinary Service, for taking such good care of our pets. Um, we have him at about two years old, and um, he has been at the shelter 117 days. Aww, I know, right? And he's yeah. he's he's a very nice boy. Okay, so what what did you say his breed was? Train Walker Coonhound. Okay, they they make very good dogs, but they, I mean, uh, when somebody wants to adopt a dog, you guys pretty much do. You guys know the background of the breed is, and, and that one's kind of unique. I mean, what what about that breed is like different? So, like everything comes in as a stray, so that that is what we see mm-hmm. from our experience. Um, and then, of course, everything is, we always say, is a mix, just like most th- most dogs are. Um, so you can basically just kind of look up a coon hound and do your research. Um, but a lot of it, I, I know breeds do make a difference. Um, this guy, you know, could, you know, follow his nose or... Um, want to you know have a high prey drive all of those things but when I spend time with them I just kind of look at their personality yeah and he's a very nice dog Mm -hmm. um sometimes you'll find the hounds be a little aloof to where you know they do want to put their nose down they do want to get outside they do want to do their hound thing um and he's not he's very nice he is affectionate he gets along with other dogs. We've had him with other dogs before, and he doesn't mind them. He does well. Uh, He asks for attention. So he's a very nice dog, Um, and you'll be able to see that in the Tales with Tales that I I was just going to ask you. (laughs) (laughs) Because believe it or not, I was actually listening to you, and now I'm looking you up on the Facebook. So (laughs) I love it. Because I love hound dogs and, and coon dogs, and I, I can't wait to, to see him. So <laughs> He's so handsome, and he has the best ears. Um, <gasps> oh, but I he really is do, cute. I really do like him. I'm not necessarily, um, Hound isn't one of the breeds that I am drawn to particularly, but this guy is very nice. We had, I don't, I don't want to say back in 2023, you know, back way back in 2023, <laughs> uh, we had a hound adopted out and they actually took it to become a service dog and it is certified. Nice. And it, yeah. And it goes to, you know, hospitals or, you know, schools or whatnot. Um, so that was very encouraging to see that they had adopted this hound from our shelter. And we don't know the background. Who right. say it didn't hunt at one point in its life, you know? Exactly. But they have domesticated this dog to where he is a service dog and doing fantastic. And they're so happy with him. So that has always been encouraging to me mm-hmm. um, just to know that these breeds, um, can be great companions. Yes, and he is adorable. I am watching the Tales for Tales right now. Oh, he <sighs> is cute. And if you don't already follow the Shelby County Animal Shelter on Facebook, you need to because that is too cute. Oh, yes. goodness. Yeah, well, somebody adopt Mr. Mario before I, I do. Uh, 
<laughs> my dogs would not be happy. But anyway, <laughs> well, thank you so much. That was the Adoptable Pet of the Week with Shelby County Dog Warden Chastity Crowder, proudly sponsored by Tri-County Veterinary Service. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good week, and we'll check in with you next week. Sounds great, Miss Tracy. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at our local weather. It's Hits 105.5.